lesson, we will talk about the assumptions used in our least squared regression, and we will talk about how to check each of those assumptions. We have, for a fixed value of the explanatory variable x, the response y is approximately normally distributed with mean alpha plus beta x and standard deviation sigma. In notation, we have that the response is normally distributed with mean alpha plus beta x and standard deviation sigma. Notice that the mean depends on what x value we are at, but the standard deviation does not. So if we look at the following picture, suppose this value we call x1. This value we're going to call x2, and this value we will call x3. Here is the mean response, alpha plus beta x. If we look at this particular value of x, x1, we see that the response y has a distribution. Every response at x1 is not the same. It varies. It is a random variable. It varies according to a normal distribution. What is the mean or the center of that distribution? It is alpha plus beta at times x1. And the distribution, or the standard deviation, the distance here is equal to sigma. Let's look at a value of x2 for our explanatory variable. The responses at x2 are normally distributed. The center of the distribution is at alpha plus beta times x2. And again, the standard deviation of that distribution is sigma. The standard deviation does not depend upon what value of x2 you are at. Looking at the responses when our explanatory variable is x3, we see that the mean response is alpha plus beta times x2. The standard deviation is the same, it's sigma, and the responses are normally distributed. That's what this says in a picture. Now let's talk about how we check each one of these assumptions. Let's talk about the assumption that the mean response of y is linear. To check this assumption, we look at a scatter plot of the data. We should see a linear association. We look at the correlation coefficient. We should see a relatively strong or a strong linear association between the two variables. And we also want to look at a residual plot. Is there a random scattering of points around the residual equals zero line? How do we check to see whether the standard deviation of the response variable is constant for every value of x? We look at the residual plot. We do not want to see any funnel shape in the residual plot. In other words, a funnel shape would be for small values of x, we have large residuals. And for large values of x, we have small residuals or vice versa. How do we check to see whether the response variable y is normally distributed or not? We take a look at the residuals and we do a normal probability plot of the residuals. If it's reasonable to say that the residuals were approximately normally distributed, then we've checked the last assumption that the response variable y is approximately normally distributed. So those are the assumptions used in regression and the techniques we use to check those assumptions.